What's up, guys? I'm Security, and yes, this may be the start of the, the, the cutscenes to the Destiny Revenant part. The reason why is because actually I loaded it up, and it, the bug was still there, and it sure so. From the void. Looks like you're not completely useless after all. Do you mind? I'm a bit busy. Spectre, stop it right there and explain. Why do you want to get rid of Lazar? Can I? Why do you hate him? And I what is the purification it. you were talking about before? Why do I hate Lazar? Are you serious? Why would I hate him? He is the only living being in the whole universe that I do not hate. That makes no sense. So what exactly do you want? I hate everyone else because they're dying. What? No matter what humans do in this world, in the end, they die. They're so weak. There's no reason to live a life that will end sooner or later, no matter what you do. And I will change that. So you want to defeat me and make all people immortal? That is crazy. There is no way to do that. Even time gods may die, even when aging very slowly. I thought so. Allow me another question then. What happens when a time god is defeated and no one takes his place? Unthinkable. The time must be streamed by the Time Master. If nobody does it... The time itself will stop completely. That's perfect. Nobody will be born. No one will die. No one will be sad. And nobody will live. Is that perfect for you? What do you know? Enough! This ends right now. We will not let that happen. Give up while you still can. Why? Because you are outnumbered. You may be tough, but you are all alone. Just destroy them already, you stupid mother trucker. <sighs> nice frame rate, isn't it? Can I just... Can we fight again? Alright, now what I was trying to say is that the reason why I came back to this spot is so... Hopefully I can sort it out before that bug happens again. The way that bug happens is... The animation of the cycle of those rocks will still spin when you when you die for for a few seconds, and if he dies then, or if he gets twired and you t use a sword on him, it may wipe the other guy out. But if you die before you, when he kills you and you don't use and you don't come through then that single part, you don't have the sword at that point. <laughs> okay, I went through the sword, but can I just uh, figure out why my frame rate decided to tank itself? See if I can't move my mouse fully. Uh, let's go to that to that, and you'll do that. That do it. Did that fix it? Let's find out. Frame rate. Are you going to come alive? The answer is. Ah. Oh. I don't know. No. Yeah, the answer is a no. It was a no go. Fuck me right in the anus, because that is gonna take a while to fix. So, be. Can you freaking pause? Thank you. Right when I got twatted. Alright, BRB. Alright, fixed it. 
fighting. Let's go. We gotta get rid of this dude. A doop a doop. And they uh missed it. And they uh do I don't like his range on his fighting. I never did. No, I don't want to disappear. A doop a doop. You gonna charge me again, or you just gonna walk slowly? There we go. Dip a dip, dip a dip, and a uh, dip a dip. I said a dip a dip. Oh Christ, that was close. This is difficult. Dip a dip. Good. How did I dodge this again? It was clicking, wasn't it? No, this is a box stage. Right. Box. Have one in your face. And. Uh, Dip -a -dip. Nope, that box did not work. Some boxes don't work. Why? Where is he? Dip -a -dip. Box, please. Thank you. Dip -a -dip. Box, please. Dip -a -dip. Okay, this fighting is going rather smoothly. Very smoothly. Uh, this is when he goes into his... Uh, Synonigans. Oh, right, this is that bit. And you. Oh, thank you for that. And then I should just go. Doop -doop. We're good to go. Change of tactics. So, this case, if we just change dodge this. I'll change the strategy. So, we dodge, dodge. It's basically, jump because he can't detect it. Cool. This is rather easy to dodge, and then we just click, click, we uh, click based. Hey, click to avoid. I'm going to kick his ass. Where is he? Hello. Oh, there you are. Can I have a weapon, please? Weapon. Don't tell me this part's bugged out already. Should not I have a sword now? I think I should have a sword. I, I think I should have a sword. Or not. He just exploded. Remember this moment. It'll be the last. What do you mean it'll last? Hey! I knight thee so dead. Good, he's been knighted so dead, so he's going to die. He's going to, uh, give up. Or die. Or disappear. I just love the, the slappiness. Oh. We're on to the next stage already. We're back to where we were. Let's go. Also, by the way, guys. I know it's not a huge, big deal, but it is for me. We... I just hit, we just hit a thousand views, and my this god, that, thank god, wow, I didn't expect, uh, to be honest, I only didn't think I'd get that many views in total, but Jesus, wow, I'll have to do, I'll, I'm creating something at the moment for the, like, a, like a special thing, when I, if I do get to 100 subscribers, ah, here we go, back to normal, we back to normal? Yes. Do you mind? I don't want to die and have to reset the whole thing again. Sword. We fixed it. Let's do this. Now, die. I've never been here. All right. I think I have. This is where I died, isn't it? Which one's the real? Which one's the real one? Um. Excuse me. I hit a random flame and he died. He lost a chunk of his health. What? Um, 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 um. The photon capacitor has evolved. You can now uh, you can electrocute the spectre if you run fast enough and aim with, with the capacitor at him. Wait, what? What's it? So if I just. Jesus Christ, I is overpowered. 
That is so overpowered. So if I just keep running around like this, just say buzzed, 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 buzzed. Dude, I know this tactic. I just hug you. Okay, no, 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 we don't. How about if I just go around in a circle then? Those things can't get me when I. Oh, is this shite balls again? Hey, nice tactic. I'm just hugging you. You still look like you still look like you're taking a big dump, and my frame rate just tank because there's a lot of FPS with this thing. Uh, so apologies. I try and uh, can I look away from it? It's a particle effect. This I don't know why. Can I? Yeah. See, it is a particle effect on that blue thing. It did it last time, but not to this extent. It was about it. It dropped it down to about twenty, but this is quite bad. So I just look away till he gets hurt. I think. All oh, right, it's gone. Right, let's move. Okay, let's. Can I? Oh, for God's sake! I'm sorry, but this is this is tanking it again. I'm gonna have to resell my fraps. So, BRB once more. This episode may be the end of it. It looks like hang on, I'm gonna see if it's fixed. It has it. No, it didn't sort itself out. So, BRB once more. The frame's back. Okay, then we, so we we're using the most overpowered weapon. He can't even touch me. Jesus Christ. He's, he's dead. He is dead. And look at this. I'll just point it at him. Wait, what? Lazar? Um. Lazar? I got this. Don't worry. Uh. I am breaking. Oh, I just just twat him in the face. It's a big slap. So I, I can literally do it anywhere. I don't think it was supposed to happen. I think you was supposed to be fighting him. But yeah, and that's it. Well, that was anticlimactic. The power orb has been destroyed. By the two awesome people in the world. The Sifir families and Lazar. They're awesome. It frames as tanks, so it's going to take a while for the whole thing to load in. So, we'll just wait. Uh huh. The fight is over. The Spectre had a glass face. Was it a mask? I still said the Spectre was the. Um, It'll be like a reincarnation of the evil spirit from the first one. And to be honest, I'm surprised this is the end. It was a good journey. A good story. No, I don't want to die. You're not going to die, I won't allow it. I think it's too late to speak like that. Lazar, you're not killing him. Unless these are dead. Already dead. What will happen when I die? People will still continue dying. Yes. It's life. It's horrible. Can uh, we carry on with the story, please? Yes. But at least they will have the chance to live. Why are you so bothered that people die? It looks like you're a robot. Why did you identify yourself as a human before? Hmm. But that's a good question. Was it his face smashed? I can see it on the floor. Or was that the power pieces? I'm more humanly than you would think. Huh? This. That. Is my memory. It may help you understand. Hmm? A spirit in the machine. Oh. What? When the code in the machine becomes too advanced. It may become something as a mind. 
So is he like a robot that became alive? That's cool. How is it when a robot dies it scares me? I was told that robots don't go to hell or heaven. Hmm. Do not worry about that. It is not even sure if humans go there. True. I don't think it exists Bizarre. myself. Can we see the memory? Yes. I don't want this guy to die now, to be honest. All he wanted was to be alive. Once I was a scientist, he was lonely. He had no family. He was de distantly relative to the Sifa family. But he lived on his own. He'll be his uncle. In his loneliness, he has built a uh, humanoid machine that does so that he had so, so he did have some company. By the time what was flowing, he was upgrading his little robot, and the robot was becoming more and more human like. As the scientist grew older, he started to treat the robot as his own son. He taught him many things. The robot was learning fast. Well, yeah, it will do. It's a cyborg, not a robot anymore. Uh, it's like Astro Boy in a way. Once the robot was watching television and asked the scientist, Why does the water flow from human eyes? The scientist explained, That is crying. The humans cry when they are sad or sometimes hurt themselves. Or hurt... Something hurts them. Or hurt themselves, like I said. Like stopping your little toe on a coffee table and you blame the table. The robot didn't understand. Define sad, he said. The old man was laughing. The, he told the robot that he would not even, not even understand because... He cannot be sad. Only humans can be sad. He told the robot that he is just a string of scripts and codes. That was the answer of the man. That's not the right answer to give to give him. As more time passed, the scientist became sick. And as he lied in his bed, the robot came to him. He asked his father what is happening. He said that his time is coming. The robot did not understand. If you've seen the anime, the uh, not, well, yeah, anime of the Mega Man series. What does it mean to die? He asked. The old man answered with a smile on his face, trying to explain that he's going to somewhere and never return. He also explained that his son, because he is a robot, he will not die because he was not aging. Damn. If you've seen the Mega Man thing, oh, for God's sake. The sci I'll, I'll tell you at the end. The scientist died after three days. The robot was staring at his body during the funeral. He did not move, he, did, he could not cry. He didn't even show any facial expression, but now the robot perfectly understood the definition of being sad. Yeah, because he just, he just lost his own, basically his father. It may regain a mystery, remain a mystery, how can a machine made of wires and chips regain the ability to feel human emotion? But in this case, it was even more extreme. The loss of his father, his creator, had an even bigger influence on the son. He fell into deep depression. He could feel agony deep inside and had no choice. No, no chance to overcome it. Even when the inventor lived unbelievably long, the robot's thoughts were different. He thought that he would stay with the creator forever, realizing that humans are, are mortal. He started to, to start to hate them. There was no point in finding new, finding new important person in life because sooner or later they all would die. In his tormenting existence, the robot was walking through his father's house and suddenly he found the answers he was looking for. In the scientist's notes, there was detailed notes of, of dreams about his ancestor who defeated a master of time, about Lazar who took his place. In the he found an odd orb he has never seen before, an orb that enabled him to change his destiny. But instead of bringing his father back to life, he decided to end the cycle of life that prevails in the universe. That is how the Spectre was born. Damn. Now when the, when the problem is solved, it is time to go home. Everything will be fixed. Not everything just yet. The fight may be over, but all he wanted was to rescue his father back. Is that it? Please tell me that's not it. That is a sad ending if that's it. Please no. That can't be it. Oh my god. 
That is the saddest ending. Damn. So, Sifa, Ralph Siffer was... That scientist was Siffer's other son then. Because they, because I guess they branched off. They had, I guess they had two kids, and that's how it continued. So technically, the uh, robot was, or well, the Spectre was, Janice's great uncle, and all he wanted was his, his basically his dad back. That's hard. That's a harsh thing. It's a great story, though. I'll give you that one, Umbe. It's a great story. I wish it was an ending where you could actually keep, where you could save the the Spectre as well. Because when you learn after the learning of the backstory of him, you don't you don't kind of hate him that much anymore. Because you know what his goal was in the end. He just wanted people to be with. Company. For as long as he could. Kind of like, like kind of like us when... We... Like, well, when you get married, basically. He wanted someone to be with him for the rest... For as long as he had. Like, the same amount of time, or even more. That is a really sad ending. A lot sadder than a, ma a machine for pigs. Machine for pigs one wasn't that sad, but it was the case of he's just you killed your own kids and everything. You, you have to redeem them. You you joining them in that part of like you shutting down everything, so you're their eternity. With this one, this Spectre never had a chance. Because when. Uh, because this is just like a robot, like they described then, when... I don't know what happens, but I'm guessing the circus just shut down like we do, but... Because the death is like, is literally the final unknown. Can we get to a cutscene ending, please? Because there has to be something more. That can't just be it. And thank you, Framing, for tanking at the end. There's a lot of credits to this. I'm guessing it should be a lot faster, but uh, my PC decided to be a douchery right now. I'm getting about 10, 5, 10 FPS right now. Not good. Uh Not good at all. Let's see. For the two brilliant images by the uh, PS, I made all the other loading screens myself. Good job. I have noticed that your artwork's improving. Can we speed it up, please, computer? Thank you for speeding it up just then, but you're gonna go back to slowness. Nope. Is this it? Please tell me there's not nothing's copyrighted here. Mute. McLeod. Nah, we're good. Come on. Connie. The. Uh, the credit ideas is good, but could it have just gone like that way, the normal route? Is there the uh, like a Star Warsy sort of stuff? So it's taking ages. Okay, it's non it's non skippable either, which is annoying. I'm clicking. There's enter. I can't do anything. Oh yay! There's a lot of music in this. Jeez. 
Well, that's since this one's over as well. I need to. Uh, I'm going to be taking a break from Amnesia Custom Stories for a little bit, just so I can literally have a break from. Because after doing so many straight in a row, 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 you get used to hello creatures. You, I hated on the left. Well, since I flipped the camera, so this guy I hated. I also hated this dude. Him not so much because he was just creepy as hell. It was like Mr. Scissorhands. The Nimrods were t strong as hell. Time to count your trophies. Oh yeah, there's a secret chapter in this, so this isn't the end. <sighs> the amount of trophies you gathered is... 23. We have a secret chapter. Let you remembered. Great, you gathered more than 20 trophies and unlocked the secret chapter. The secret chapter would load now. Sweet. There's a secret chapter the aftermath of it. Secret chapter Happy Hollows. What the hell? Okay, I can sprint like a mother trucker. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna split this into two episodes because this it deserves to be one. If it's longer, really long, I might. It depends on what I think of doing. Please tell me this is the aftermath. Who am I anyway? No one. Nice music. This is cool. I do like that music. So where the hell, what is going on? They're just a sprint in this thing. What's gonna happen? I'm can, I'm curious because this is near the end of the thing. What happens? Whoa! What is this? Well, I can cheat this and just go straight down the middle. What the hell? Music's nice though. What the hell? Umbo, what the hell is this secret chapter? I don't know this. What the hell? What the hell? I, mean, I can't get to the yellow side because it's blocked. Can I? I don't know. This is weird. Completely weird. I don't get this. I mean, you could have done the credits in this if you had them on the side and everything. Hmm. Maybe another time. It's cool, though. Is that it? No, we still got more. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, this is so the secret chapter. Is all the creatures probably just dancing and everything. This is cool. I see more down there. Alright. Let's time these jumps right now. I suck at timing jumps. They're huge. This is cool, though, the marching stance. It's awesome. What's next? I like this secret chapter. It's just pure out of the ordinary. Um. Whoa. I'm here now. Tetris. See you, fan of Tetris. This is cool. Really cool. Well, it's interesting. But it's one of the most unique things I've seen at the moment. Uh, where are we gonna come out? Oh, the yellow side. Interesting. I'm glad I did not split this up as a secret chapter that it deserves to be with the ending. What's this song, by the way? It's probably in the case, but I didn't read it. It's quite nice. It's, a, it's one of those nice songs where you can literally just sit back to and just relax to. Or when you play one of those, like, League of Legends or something, you can literally just have this in the background when you play. It's one of those nice songs. Next part is loading. Well, I've got to be sprinting for a while. Yeah. No? Secret chapter Happy Hollows. It's nice. It's, I, like that. I do like the song. 
that's the story though overall it was hello where am I now Hall of Fame hello since you got this far and did not quit already I expect you enjoyed this, your journey yes it was freaking awesome this place is just a Hall of Fame so if you played some of the previous mods like Red Waters, Destiny Rebellion, Meta, Mana I gotta check those out and use a face cam there's a chance you may see your face around here thank you and proceed because we're not fi finished yet what? This is... Hey, there's Mark! Cool! Don't recognize you. Don't know you. Don't know you. I should know these, but I really don't. I, I recognize them because I watch them a lot. I can't break this. Uh, don't know you. I thought you were Wade then. Nope. Nice afro. Don't know you. Don't haven't seen you before. Don't know you. She's cute, but never met her. Or seen her. Wait. Oh, hang on a minute. I got the names on the thing. Go in backwards. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't. But all right, let's see who you are. Red Worthful Gamer. Little confused Brian. Holly Jabir. Uh, Holly LP. Then we got Luke Sky. The, th the that Blitz guy. Zalzar played Meta. Bull Tremex played Destiny Rebellion. Major Erlen, USA. Forty Games. Jerry Joe. That's log tech logic. Cat Bear, the person on the left is D'Angelo Bear, the creator of the creator of Late Night Drink Greetings. Cool. I don't know most of these. Ben Kulski. Miss Repulsive played Meta and Mana. Is that it? I can see one more in there. Oh you're here. Victor Knight, Meta. I can't break it. Hang on a minute, can I drag this now? I can see more, but I can't get in there. How do I get in there? This is cool though. Anyone else? What's that say? Your face could have been here. Yeah, maybe another time. Who knows? The story's awesome, though. Oh, I can get, I can see more around here. And you are zero. Played Messer. Darker devote. Devout or devotee. Bowling it and Lily Sandwich. Ghosty Grinjo. Dark frame. Is there any more? Does it keep does it keep going? Nice mini car. That was to say. Oh my god, hello. Two years ago I told you that you are perfect. I hope you still still are. I will not slow you down. I know that you took many hours to complete this mod. It took a while, it was fun though. You've sacrificed few hours of your life to finish it. I've sacrificed one year to make it for you. I'm grateful to everyone who contributed to this in a smaller or bigger amount, but I do not want to stop here. There are more game engines out there that I want to master and hopefully make some real game businesses in the future. Every paid request, donation, or job offer would be welcome, even saying the good word gives enough motivation just to just do it. For the most recent news, visit the death gut uh, or visit that site. Thank you, I'm a Canada. I wish you all well because I've been, I just, we, did, we were talking about it a while back. And I will, if you do need a hand or anything, I'll give you a hand with stuff. I do, I recognize this guy as well. Banjo, not Banjo, it was a Crash Bandicoot. It deserves to be on a wall. Crash Bandicoot was one of my favorite games as well as a kid. Instant reaction as a normal amnesia player. You always open everything, see if there's anything hidden. That was an awesome story. Billy, Bobby, it's tradition. What's this? 
I did this under one hour in Unreal Engine 4 without any previous knowledge. I wonder what could be made after 3,000 hours. Who knows? I've tried the engines myself and they're hard to get your head around. It takes a while, but you can create some awesome stuff with it. The Land of Death. What do you mean by the Land of Death? But seriously, it does take a while and I do wish it all the best. Get me informed, will you? Because I want to see. I want to see what you, what you can create. And if, you, if you want me to test it, I'll test it. Because it's freaking... You do make some really nice story stuff. This is a long ass staircase. Speed up a bit. This is cool. Because oh, if this, this, this should, like you did say, take you an hour, a year and a bit. There's always that little extra time that you don't count into it, but you just all round it off to like a year or so. As Janus Rivers visited the, ver the verse of death behind the gate, he could see the silhouettes of the dead. The scientist and the spectre made it. As he recognized one of them, it, is now, it was now quite clear. There's the ending I was looking forward for. Impossible happened. The spirit of the spectre has joined the creator, his father. Nice. Maybe the spectre was wrong. Maybe the meaning of life is not just birth and death. No. It's like there are. I, I believe in like there's ghosts and spirits and everything. Maybe the end of something is just the beginning of something else. Who knows? Nobody knows what happens after. People think, it's like, oh, you maybe reincarnate or something else. You might be, like, in limbo walking around on the planet Earth for so long. Until you get, you let go. <coughs> Sorry, but seriously. Nobody knows. I mean, there's a, there's a recent thing that I read about on the internet. The guy died twice and, died twice and he knew what was happening. But as the way he described it, it was a case of, literally, nothing ever happened. Now, it looks like this is the end. Time to go home. And to go to sleep, because you must be freaking knackered. The end. Freaking amazing. I if you guys, if you have amnesia, the dark descent, you have to play these mods. The full conversion mod for amnesia the dark descent, created by McConnor. I still I recommend that you play these. They're so cool. They're unique. It's one of the most enjoyable story I've ever played. I would have loved to some like a martial stuff because I like doing those because they're fun. Because it's so sort of so speaking that you just go back to back and forth to it in your own free time. Like in the other one, I kept going back into like the uh, the entertainment house because those mini games they were quite entertaining to do. Can we thank you? The end. And as always, guys, since this is it, I'm taking a break from the, from Amnesia Custom Stories for a little bit. I have to find some good ones in it again because there's a lot of troll ones on the mod site. Where it's like, oh, this is just a troll. You can't. Sometimes you can't tell it's a troll. It'd be like a decent image. Like the Photoshop. Even they will even Photoshop a really good image, but then it's bull crap. No one, I don't know why, it's, they just find it funny, but it's not. He's taking, there's so many good creations in that mod list, but they're surrounded by the, the troll stuff. It is so bad, it took, it took me ages to be able, if you don't know the name of the actual mod, you will, it's, it's like 95% of all the stuff down the list, that are the eh ones, or the troll ones. What I mean by the eh ones is the case of, they basically just want it to be like, even just everything's pure, like pure pitch pitch black, and they just want it to be like jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. It shouldn't just be like that. It should be like all well, similar to this. Like it's got to have a good story, the odd occasional jump scare in it, just to keep you going. And my throat's because I went out last night, so sorry. And now that's it. Just. Needs a good story, good flow to it, so it's just not the case of oh, you're just going around for a lot of jump scares and you want all the like the normal fake reactions people will do for it. It's like, it's like you, after a certain amount of the normal jump scares, it's like the like the JPEG ones are all like just like a random yeah in your face. You get used to it. 
you start you slowly become immune to it. Like in the Gary's mod, the Gary mod's horror stuff. You get immune to them slowly. So you you have to take a break from horror games altogether every now and then, because you don't feel the the ambience to it. You don't feel anything to it. You you become immune. So with the, with my words spoken, game story, I'd rate it out of ten. About eight. It's still got a few kinks to it, but that's bound to happen because it's a it, full conversion mods aren't always fully s there. But the reason why I give it an eight is because, well, no, I say I give it a nine point five, nine point five out of ten for me. The only reason why I d the only oh, the other the not point five is just, there was like a mechanic so you could literally just flick between Lazar and Janus Rivers if you between that s other section. Sorry. That thought was really dry, I need a drink. Because that was annoying, because it, it crashed my uh, recording session a couple times. Well, it crashed the game sometimes, because I don't know why. I think it's because it's loading up the same stuff quite frequently. Well, until then, guys, as always, with that gone off, the brass band, as always, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.